Hello, this is Summer Fowler from the CERT Division with your SEI Cyber Minute. In a 2015 survey of more than 14,000 information security specialists, the SEI Squared organization asked what skills led to a successful information security professional. Communication skills tied for first and were ranked higher than skills such as technical knowledge, leadership ability, and knowledge of regulations and policy. Despite recognizing the importance of communication skills, organizations continue to struggle with communication between cybersecurity teams and executive management and leadership. Here at CERT, we have done research into these communication disconnects and found that not only is communication between the cybersecurity team and executives relatively infrequent and unstructured, the two groups are often not even focused on the same objectives. Most executives are expecting their cyber experts to make investment decisions to protect and sustain the organization through disruptive events. But very few of those executives are communicating the actual risk appetite of the organization. Without this guidance, cybersecurity experts are making decisions based on technical expertise, but lacking business focus. So what is risk appetite? It is the amount and type of risk that an organization is willing to accept. In other words, risk appetite specifies value ranges for key performance indicators. Examples of these include percentage of failed business transactions, market to book ratio, number of high severity compliance issues, and customer satisfaction percentage. Note that risk appetites will vary widely by organization, and much like those that I mentioned, may not mention cybersecurity at all. It is the responsibility of organizations' executives to define the risk appetite and communicate it to the cybersecurity team. The cybersecurity team must then determine the technical and non-technical threats and vulnerabilities that could put the organization outside the acceptable ranges of the risk appetite. This exercise can help the team identify the most critical assets of the organization, and then what decisions to make on technical and non-technical capabilities to protect and sustain those assets. Cybersecurity teams can then determine if investments enable assets to perform and remain within the risk appetite ranges. This process also highlights areas where investment or capability are not enough to stay within the risk appetite ranges, and it enables identification of investments that may be duplicative or lower priority. This process is certainly not easy, and CERT is continuing research into risk appetite and cybersecurity measurement supporting business and mission objectives. Thank you for watching this SEI Cyber Minute. For more information about this topic, please visit our website or send me an email at info at sei.cmu.edu.